And I think she's calling the cops on me while I'm sitting very politely. Um, she's calling the cops on me. I just recorded everything that has happened here. I told the story because I wanted you guys, I wanted to share with you guys when I decided to put this video out. And that's what's going on here. I will have all the documentation to show it. The police officers will be here shortly, I'm sure. I will continue to be calm as I'm not upset. I just wanted to make sure I have a record of everything so that I can be able to show you guys this. That's her explaining me being hostile. I'm not hostile at all. She wanted, she, I was supposed to go with them, but I changed my mind. I told you she still wants to be with me. But she made a video saying her ex didn't hack her, but she failed to mention that the man she's with didn't hack her. So I told her that that's not a good thing, that she treated me wrongly by not also acknowledging that I didn't hack her while she talked about you guys praying for her and her daughter. So, you know, how can you want to be with me and I still trying to work with you and things like that? So, you know, she's lying again. So what's going on today? Well, um, I think the situation with my fiance and I, and I has been a situation where, you know, she's a very aggressive woman. Okay. And I have video, video footage of how aggressive she can be. Um, I had a situation here that she called the cops when I touched her leg. Yeah, I saw that report. You remember that? Yeah. I used to own this house. I'm, I'm 34 years old. I bought this house at uh, 29 years old. Oh, I'm nice. West African. Thank you. I'm West African. I moved here at 18 years old. I became a financial advisor at 25. I'm Wells Fargo, first advisor, became a branch financial advisor, published my story. I've, so, the point I'm making is I'm a driven person and I work hard for what I've earned in my life. Yeah. I've had aspirations to succeed. I'm giving you some background as I talk about this that's, really quickly. That's fine. And, and so when I met this woman, she was doing well as well. Um, I saw an opportunity for us to build and being financially sad. Go for it. I wasn't emotionally sound. I put my house in her name, paid me all the down payments, mm -hmm. got paperwork, all the down payments, where she borrowed me money. I transferred 60,000 from, from, my, from my, the money I, from, I gave, gave her this house at uh, appraised value. I could have had it 50,000 over. Appraised value, I put all the down payments, signed paperwork. Once the money came to me, transferred for $60,000. Ever since then, she's been very, very, uh, while she knows it's my house, been aggressive to me and told me to leave and I've been kicked out multiple times, called police all the time. So I've gotten to the point where I don't feel safe anymore. And I said, hey, I want to just go ahead and sell this house and move forward. She said she wants to split my equity. Now, we've only been here since what, uh, as far as since she bought the house December. I've owned this house now three years. I said, no problem. I don't want to fight with you. It's evilness. I want to get away from it. Okay. Sell the house. But she wants to go ahead and do it by herself with the realtors and stuff. I don't feel safe. Once the money gets to her account, I don't get squat. Yeah. So I said, no, I want to be a part of every process. I want to select the realtor with you or my realtor. I want to be a part of everything and have attorneys involved while we dissolve this. She you had, guys are both on the on the house, right? I'm not. Oh, you're not. I'm, I'm just living home. here while I mail the payments and paperwork. Yeah. So that's why she got upset here now. Okay. Because I said that. I started yelling. I got a whole video recording. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it Eddie? Yes, Eddie. Eddie. Yes, sir. So, I know yes, sir. Marriage, but tell me what happened. This today. was the first house that I ever purchased alone after my marriage. 
When nice. I divorced my ex-wife with my two children, gotcha. we had a split custody agreement. Cool. Okay. Yep. I bought this house, and while in this house for a year and a few months, I rented, and then I moved into a house that I had secured with a previous client of mine in Atlanta with my children. I hurriedly prepared that home so it's, it's conducive for me and my children. Gotcha. And uh, we started to live there. Over time, I met Mercy, and I moved her right in. And you've been here with her for a year, is that correct? For a year. Okay. Yes. Yes. When we met, she moved right in with me. We've been living together ever since. Cool. What happened just now here? This is yeah, a home. Yeah, just tell me what happened yes. today. Yes, this is what I'm going to. I'll give you some premise, and now I'm going to come Yeah, yeah no, that's fine. Okay. Perfect. As far as just today, this is a home that I've purchased and I established. Mm -hmm. What I did was, I was trying to build Mercy. I put it in her name, signed paperwork, paid all the down payments. She has it in her name while well, I paid everything, but we agreed that once I pay her money back, because I gave it to her at the appraised value, she would then give me my money, sign the deed back over to me. Mm -hmm. Ever since she's been calling the cops on me to keep me out of this house, left and right. It's just been cruel. So I've, got, I've gotten to the point where she, she's been demanding that this is her house. I want to sell it and move away. I don't feel safe here anymore. Okay. So I've asked, she says she insists that she wants to split the equity with me. Now I've had this house, like I said, it's my first buy. Mm -hmm. It means everything to me. I'm right, at 18. Right. I'm 34 now. Mm -hmm. I've worked hard to be here. You're from 88? Yeah, 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 88, yeah. So I worked hard to be here and I want to be a part of her selling my house. Mm -hmm. So I've told her, which I have a video recording of it, that I want to be a part of the selling of the house. I want to help being selected to be a, the, the a realtor. Mm -hmm. And I want to also be a part of the emails and have people work with an attorney involved. That right. I close it, I get my percentage, she get her percentage and it's clear. And that's all I want. And she's insisting that she's going to do it and I can just be, she can include me in the emails and that's it. I don't feel comfortable. Right. That's why she called the cops. And that's how that was. So today she called yes. because, because of that. You, mm -hmm. but didn't she mm -hmm. buy the house from you? No. No, you well, just changed it to her that name. I, I, buy, I put it in her name. Put okay. her name in the deed. So put it loan, okay. everything in her name, I but I paid you. everything on it. Tell me yes. about, mm -hmm. tell me about uh, yeah. how, so today, how mm -hmm. you started talking to her about how, so you already planning on separating? Yeah, so yeah, last night, you know, I got her when I was leaving. And I say, and I, hey, I, this is not working, honestly. I don't feel safe here. And it's just not working. You know, we're fighting a lot. So I want to move on and sell the house. So she came begging me. You know, she gave me a head, begged me. And I said, okay, we're trying to work into it. So today we got up and we're going to go to uh, her celebrate her daughter's birthday. Mm -hmm. But then I saw a video online that she, she's a big YouTuber where she posted and crying how she's going through pain, right? And because of how she's treating me, I, the things that I lost here with losing my children, right? Mm -hmm. I have not want to be involved because she has not been caring to me. She's right. been really, like I said, touching her leg the last time I got cops calling me. So it just has been brutal and mm -hmm. wasting things. Just everything's been crazy. And I got video recordings of these things. Okay. okay. And so I just never feel safe. Right. And, and because of that, I, I told her, I said, okay, you know what? Um, today, I don't, I, that video makes me feel like while well, you didn't acknowledge I'm not doing this thing to you as far mm -hmm. as your account's being hacked and you say your, your ex isn't doing it, I'm intelligent to know that you position me in a bad position. Oh, because she mentioned that he didn't, he didn't do, do it, it but not me. And I'm too intelligent not to, you know, so I said, that's not right. Gotcha. It cut my heart so much. Right. I stayed calm. I came down here. She wanted to talk to me. I said, I don't want to talk right now. After I calmed down, I called her. So I, I put the camera on. I sat right there. That's how I talked to And that's what it is. And that's right. everything I explained to you just now. And I have it recorded. And I turned the camera around to explain some of the foundation of the things. And mm -hmm. I got everything on recording. And that's when she called the cops. Yeah, because yeah. like on her video, the one it. that she comes here, yeah. and then you that's the real one. Her. That's the real so one here. Both filming each other. Yeah, that's the real one there. Yeah. So pretty much, mm -hmm. uh, I get you have the house things going on, and you mm -hmm. have the uh, issue between you and her as far as your relationship. Mm -hmm. But I guess the main reason is mm -hmm. you watch that video. You, mm -hmm. In your perspective, mm -hmm. was hey, how is she gonna mention that it's not him? That's doing true. That, but but now I mean, but what's what's really even more. Uh, bothersome to me is that in that process of expressing that to her, she right. doesn't take the time to acknowledge how I feel okay. and, and acknowledge the rationale in that. She wants to dismiss it and manipulate mm -hmm. me. I got you. So I'm like, no, mm -hmm. I'm too right. intelligent to accept that. So now I put a boundary up. That's what impacts her. That's how we hear. Besides mm -hmm. you filming her and mm -hmm. her filming you mm -hmm. uh, today, yes, today, yes. did anybody threaten anybody? Did anybody touch She called anybody? me a child molester. I, I saw that on yeah. the video. Call me most of the children. Now, guess what? I'm the potter who washed the shoes, right. okay? Yeah. Wash the shoes. Yeah. I teach them how to uh, eat. <laughs> you see you. my mannerism, right? But yeah. besides that. No, nothing. Okay. I thought that's something that's against the law, yeah. isn't it? Oh, okay. Not if it's a threat, uh, okay. you know what I mean? As far okay. as it, no, 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 no threats, you know, as far as it stinks and it's no, not no something threats. nice no to threats. say, yeah. But 
Um, she says she's traveling today. Yeah. Uh, later on. What mm -hmm. time is she traveling? Seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Do you think... Um, I, the last time they came here and they kicked me out of here, I was in the cold in the basement in that house I fixed it. It's cold. I have nowhere you, to go. Do you, you... Can you at least, to avoid any future issues, just go catch some air? Um, you see like, me now. I can right. go I can go somewhere, but I'm telling you, my brother... Officer, it's officer, just to make me... So so Sousa, Sousa. It, it will make me feel better. Okay, I will go to the battery and I will come back this way. She'll leave at 7, right? Oh, but I, 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 I can be at the 7 now. What I'm saying is, I will keep my camera on. Yep. I will sit here. 